Nearly 153,000 student loan borrowers are debt-free after the Biden administration canceled more than a billion dollars worth of loans today. Now, this is part one of its SAVE plan, which was launched just last summer. The White House says these loan cancellations are coming about six months earlier than were originally planned. NBC News business and data correspondent Brian Chung is here to break it down for us. Who is affected, Brian, in this phase one? Yeah, well, this forgiveness is not going to count borrowers that have $200,000 of debt that just graduated. This is going to be for people that have been paying for 10 years at a minimum and have loans under $12,000. So it's very targeted. Again, this is part of uh, a phased approach that the Biden administration is using to try to forgive student debt after they, as you recall, uh, tried to forgive debt for 43 million borrowers in the form of basically scratching anything under $20,000 in terms of total uh, loans borrowed. But that was struck down by the Supreme Court. Yep. So the Biden administration, the Department of Education, trying to do this targeted approach for certain types of borrowers. So how do you sign up, coach? How do you enroll? <laughs> Yeah, well, and by the way, the administration is saying that out of uh, 30 million uh, borrowers that could be eligible for this, only 7 million have really, really? Uh, applied so far. And that's because uh, not a lot of people might be aware of the plan to begin with. So there are two steps to this. First of all, you would only be eligible for this forgiveness if you're already enrolled in what they call that saving on a valuable education or save mm -hmm. plan that was only unveiled last year. Uh, once you're eligible for that, then you would do another check based off of the criteria we just talked about to see if you're eligible for forgiveness. So a lot of people aren't even enrolled or checked online yet, you can do so at studentaid.gov. So what happens actually, Brian, when a student loan is canceled? Who pays that remaining balance? Yeah, well, nothing is free, right? But when it comes to student loans, all the debt, for the most part, is being held by the U.S. government. So they basically just kind of scratch a line in a spreadsheet and it disappears. But of course, it has to be made up elsewhere. Now, the administration is hoping that that won't all go to the U.S. deficit, that it will be made up for by those borrowers who aren't saddled with debt, maybe going out and spending the economy more. That increases the taxable base. So it's not necessarily dollar for dollar, but the costs will have to come from somewhere. Uh, that is very much going to be part of the analysis, I'm sure, after uh, they figure out how many people enroll in this. Brian Chung, always making me smarter, putting <laughs> that business and journalism degree to good use. I appreciate I you, Brian. You. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.